Hello, I am Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. In my previous videos, I've shown you how to use Winx DVD Ripper Platinum, rip your favorite movies to your cloud, to your personal PC, so you can watch them anywhere on any device. Now, I've also shown you how to rip your favorite TV shows. Now, the process form are pretty similar. And what I'm going to do on this video is I'm going to show you how you can use WinX DVD Ripper Platinum and create backup DVDs. Now what this will do is create an image. This way, if you can use this image and create a backup DVD on a recordable disc. So this way, instead of having to handle the original disc and risking scratching it up or damaging the disc, you can burn to a recordable DVD. This way your player can be able to play your movies and stuff just like the original without the risk of scratching it up. If the disc gets scratched up, no problem. Just stick you another recordable disc into your computer and burn you another copy. That simple. So let me go ahead and show you what you do. Now keep in mind this program cannot do any kind of Blu-ray discs because it does not have the functionality in order to read Blu-ray discs. It doesn't matter if you have a Blu-ray drive, it will not be able to read them, as I've shown in previous videos. Now to do this, go ahead and put your standard DVD in the drive, and you will see a message pop up to show that it's loaded. And what you'll go is to up here to the upper left, click Disk, uh, you're going to see the movie title that is selected and then come over here and click OK. Now you'll see that the list on the left has popped up on the, on the left and what we're going to do is we're going to select DVD backup. Now you have these multiple options and what we're going to do is we're going to clone DVD to ISO image. And as you can see, it says one-to-one -one copy DVD. It's going to make an entire copy of that DVD into an image. So we're going to select this. And then we're going to choose OK. Now, this is a Disney encrypted video. So you'll get this message to let you know that this is made by Disney. Now, Disney does use a special uh, DRM protection called X-Project click OK. Now what you'll do, you don't have to worry about any of this information. Uh, these are all just titles. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to back up the entire disk. Now the next thing you want to do is go down here to the bottom and you're going to see the destination folder. Uh, this is the location where the ISO image is going to be uh, created. Uh, if you need to, you can just click browse and select another location. Uh, you don't have to worry about any of this over here. Uh, this is going to make an exact copy of the disk. Um, all you need to do now is once you have your destination folder uh, set up, just click run. Now you're going to see the current image that we're going to create. Uh, this is going to be the name of the image when it's completed. Uh, you're going to notice that the start time, end times, current times, and all that uh, are going to remain at zero. Uh, this is because we're making the exact copy of the DVD. Here you're going to see sector. Uh, this shows you the sector that it's currently at. Over here it's going to show the time remaining. This is an estimated time to, before the, the image is uh, completed. Down here you have the shutdown and you also have the open output. Uh, you also have the option to click stop if you need to stop this. Now once the task has completed, you're going to see the message pop up saying all jobs have been completed. Just click OK. And it's going to open the destination folder that the image was saved. As you can see here, here is the image. Uh, this is the disk image that I just created. Now, this image can be used to create a copy of a DVD. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is I'm going to show you how to clone the DVD to a folder. Um, that will be this section here. And what it's going to do is going to put the entire content of the DVD on into a folder. You'll be able to view all the files, the chapters, videos, things like that into a folder. 
So once you have it selected, just choose OK. That's going to tell you about the DVD. Just click OK again. Um, once you've done your destination, just click o click Run. And again, we're going to go through the same process as before. It's going to show the sectors, and then it's going to show the estimated time remaining. Once the task is completed, you'll see this window pop up again, showing that all jobs have been completed. Uh, just click OK. Here you'll see the previous one that we did a while ago. This is just an image of the disk, which can be burned onto any recordable uh, disk. Uh, over here is the new folder that was just created. Uh, as you, when you can open it, you'll see all the clips of the videos. Now, this does not sh do it as a continuous video, uh, just like it would if you did a direct rip of the DVD as we did in the earlier videos. Here, it shows all the chapters, the clips, everything that's on the disc. Um, you can look at any chapter that you want, uh, even the special features that they have on some of these DVDs. Uh, you can also have them on here. And this is how you can basically rip or clone the DVD contents onto a folder. Now that you have the image and folder created, um, let's say that you decide that you want to go back and there is a particular title uh, from an image that you would like to, to rip. Um, what you could do is you could go up here to image You'll see this familiar box come up, and what you'll do is click Browse, and you'll go to the location of the ISO. Uh, here's the one that we did earlier, so we'll select that one, and then click Open. You're going to see the name of the file and where it's located in the box now. Just click OK. Now, it's going to bring you to the regular window that we've seen before. Uh, these are the recent ones that we've done. Uh, you can do the impact, iPhones, main titles. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Choose any format you want. You'll notice on here that it'll show recommendations as which ones it would recommend um, ripping it to or converting the file. And what we're going to do is we're just going to choose the MPEG. Uh, I'm just going to leave this right here. If you want to change this, you can. And then we'll click OK. And again, we're going to see this message here. Just click OK. Now, you'll notice that it looks just like as it did when we first did the DVD rip. Uh, in my previous videos, I've shown you how to do the ripping of DVDs. And if you've seen the video, you'll see it looks just like it. Uh, even in the beginning of this video, this is what we saw. Now, you can pick and choose exactly which video you want. And again, here is the movie. And then you just do whatever you need to do with the settings. Uh, you can do uh, your information here. If you need to change or fine tune the settings, you can click here. Um, once you decide as to the settings that you want for the hardware accelerator, your high quality engine and so forth, just click run and it will begin the process. Um, it's fairly simple to use. Uh, once you load the image, you're basically loading a drive or a disk and that's all there is to it. Now folders uh, basically are the same way. Uh, folders, you just go up here to folder Again, you'll choose this browse, and you'll notice here is the folder that we created earlier in this video. And we're going to click here. This is the uh, location of the folder. Just click OK. Again, we're going to come back to this window. We're just going to leave it at MPEG. We'll skip the message here, not worried about that. And again, it's going to look just like the information that was on there before. Now, you'll see a difference when you go through File Explorer, as we did earlier. It shows all the groupings and stuff. This will actually read all that information and put it right back together as one piece. 
So again, we could just select this and then we can choose the destination. Uh, we could choose acceleration information or options here and then just click run. Same exact process, just a different method. So if you have an ISO or a folder containing video clips from a DVD, then you can use this to convert it into a single file and voila, you now have your uh, converted video from that folder or image. Well, this concludes this video. I've shown you how to create a backup DVD image using an ISO. So if you want to create a burnable DVD, then this way you can preserve your original DVDs and just play and handle your backup copies. I've also shown you how to create a folder of the DVD so you can access all the chapters and videos in that fo folder. Well, if you're interested, uh, you can try out the WinX DVD Ripper Platinum in the video descriptions down below. Uh, it does have a five minute limit, but it's enough to let you go ahead and try it. And if you decide to, you could go ahead and buy it. Well, I'm your host, Mitch Fixit from ES Repair. Thank you for watching.